Hello and welcome to this week's Goddess Energy Forecast. So this week, because of all the heaviness going on in the world, which I'm sure you can feel it, especially for you intuitives, empaths, healers, I am calling in the angels and the archangels to come in and help us to, even the dragons are coming through, um, to help us to transmute and transform the darkness um, that is going on in the world and to send more light where it's needed the most. So if you're with me, let's go ahead and begin. Welcome to this week's Goddess Energy Forecast, where each week we share with you divine guidance on where you need to place your attention, your focus, your energy, and also bring through frequencies to help you heal, to inspire you, to empower you, and to uplift you. Here's your host, Abigail Mensabonsu, with this week's Goddess Energy Forecast. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Abigail Mensabonsu, and this is the this week's Goddess Energy Forecast. Um, let your light shine. That is the message coming through. Let your light shine. There's a lot going on in the world. <laughs> There's a lot going on in the world. And, you know, hopefully you're not watching the news because it is very heavy. I don't watch the news. And even with that, I can feel it. I can feel what's going on in the world. Um, and of course, I know the gist of what is going on in the world. But I don't need to be watching the news every day. If you're someone who watches the news and you are an empath, an intuitive, a healer, like cut that out. Like, stop it. <laughs> stop it. No, it is a bit much. Um, it is too much. And of course, we know the media shows things that promote fear, right? And what we need right now is more light, more joy, more love. We need to amplify our light. So light workers, when we see this type of darkness in the world, it is time for us to be even more of our light, which means, this is really cool, which means that you need to drop into your heart. You need to drop into your higher self and you need to tune into that divine light within you and expand it as far as you can imagine. Let that light engulf the entire planet send that light to places that need it the most, to the children, to the women, to to the people that need it. This is where our work really gets called in. I mean, we're constantly working, right? Whether we do it intentionally or unconsciously, right? Because our energies, our higher selves always know our purpose. And so we're always in our purpose. I think that Times like this make you wonder or even ask the question, what can I do to help? And this one is coming in for the light workers. There's so much that your energy alone can do. Because sometimes I feel like there's this energy of, I feel helpless. You know, I wish I could do more. Your energy is doing more than you think. Just you choosing to be in your light you choosing to tune into your divine light and allowing that to expand around the world and radiate to areas of the world that needed the most or to the people that needed the most. That is the true work. That is the true contribution. Yes, there's the physical aspect of it, right? There's physical steps that perhaps you could take to help someone today you know, in your own environment, in your own world, in your own community. But spiritually, you can expand even further than that. So where can you send that unconditional divine light to today? Where should we send it? Mm. Would you like to join me as we do this? So close your eyes. And just breathe into your heart, breathe into your body. We're going to get into that alignment and then we're going to create a massive ball of light and just send it out. We're not going to focus on one thing or one person. We're just going to send it out. So whoever needs it at this time, wherever needs it at this time, 
it will go there. I'm going to call in the angels and the archangels, our higher selves, our guides and guardians, beautiful goddesses of light to come in to assist us in this. And if you yourself need this too, you're included, you will receive it. So taking a deep breath in and breathe into your heart. And from here, call in your higher self into your heart if you haven't already. And imagine, see, sense, or feel that light within your heart. Just begin to pulsate and radiate. From your heart, send your channel all the way up through your head, all the way up into the heavens. And plug it into the heart of the Divine Father, whatever that looks like to you. It might be a ball of light that you plug right into. It might be a divine beings that you connect to. It doesn't matter. It's between you and the divine. So just plug your channel right at the center of the of, of the heart of source. Open up your channel and begin to drink in that nectar. Receive that potent source light. Let it come into your heart. And let it amplify your own divine light. There you go. And now we're going to continue down. So allow your channel to continue downward from your heart. And it go all the way down, up through your feet, into the earth. And then it go through all the different layers of the earth until it reaches the heart of the Divine Mother. And again, plug right into the center of the Divine Mother. And open up your channel and again, allow her Divine Nectar to flow into you from below. So you're getting the energy of heaven and the energy of earth all coming through to merge within your heart. So take a deep breath in here. And out. Really see, sense, or feel all, all the energies come into your heart and join in with your own divine light. And when it does, it expands out, creating an outer layer, this opalescent bubble of light all around you. And I ask your divine team to surround that bubble of light, to surround that bubble of light and create a golden circle of light around you. Taking a deep breath in here and out. Now that you're connected to heaven and earth and your own divinity through your heart, bring your awareness back into your heart. And now we're going to create this bubble of light wherever you are. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I want you to begin to radiate outward, create a bubble of light in front of you, and then begin to pour in light. And this light is not just going to come from you. It's going to be coming from all over right is it just gonna from your left from your right above below everywhere like all the divine beings are joining in this so see all the light gather in this ball of light and as it comes in to integrate it gets bigger and bigger and bigger in front of you it's gonna get massive okay so just yeah see it grow see it expand there we go what is your intention that you like to send into the world we are putting in of course peace we're putting in love we're putting in protection protection allow that bubble of light to expand there you go and you see all the bubbles coming from everywhere and merging in into this massive ball of light. There we go. And now together we're going to release it. So send it out. We're going to send it to the people who need it. We're going to send it to the parts of the world that need it. We're going to send it to the entire world. Actually, we're going to wrap the entire world around this. There's no limit to what this bubble of light can do. Taking a deep breath in here. Step into gratitude at this time as we send the bubble of light out. There we go. Beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, 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 yes. And from here, since we've already set this page, let's go ahead and ask, what can I do to help diffuse this darkness? Well, actually, let's go ahead and put it this way. I'm getting to rephrase it. What can I do to amplify my light in the world at this time? What can I do to bring in more light, to step into more of my light, to radiate more of my light in this world at this time? One, two, or three. 
And once you have received your number or numbers, taking a deep breath in and out, let it anchor, open your eyes, open your heart, ready to receive your message on how you can step into more of your light or send more of your light into the world at this time. That's a light worker, right? All right, so I am using Kyle Gray's Angel Prayer deck. I haven't used this deck in a long time, but this was one of his first ones that I actually um, grabbed or purchased, and it's like years ago. And I just I was looking through the deck, asking the question, and I'm tuning into what wants to come through. And this deck was like me, 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 me. <laughs> so it's perfect. Again, we're bringing in that angelic presence, that angelic light to, which is exactly what we created with that bubble of light, right? We cre we co-created with each other, but also the angels, the archangels, the, the masters of light, the goddesses. I mean, every single light being in this universe helped us to create this so we can send it out. We did some major work today. <laughs> so well done. Well done. Okay. So shall let's just dive into the message, shall we? All right, so if you received one, your card is live your joy. So how can you bring more light into the world? You are a being of joy and you're being asked to live your joy. Be more joyful. I know um, as I'm saying this, I'm getting to speak on this too, that it might feel, you might feel even a little guilty where you're like, there are people suffering in the world and I'm having fun. Well, guess what? By you doing that, you're bringing more light and love to support everyone in this world. It is one of your soul gifts. So don't feel, don't feel guilty about living your joy. So here's the prayer. Each of these cards come with an angel prayer, hence the name of the deck, angel prayer. So the angel prayer that you can say this week is, Thank you, angels, for supporting me as I follow my joy. Thank you, angels, for supporting me as I follow my joy. Here's the thing. The angels love it when you say thank you, when you step into gratitude. You know, one thing I do is instead of me even asking, like putting it in a, hey, angels, can you help me with this? Can you... I actually say thank you, angels. That's how I stay. So, for example, you know, something that, you know, you would usually hear angels, can you help me or can you bring in, you know, let's say more money? Can you bring in an opportunity for me to expand myself, right? This is how I would say thank you, angels, for bringing me opportunities that will help me find my joy, that will help me um, illuminate in my joy, that will help me live my joy, angels love to be thanked. Angels love it when we step into that gratitude. It makes it fast. So these prayers are potent, they're simple, but they're potent. Hopefully, even when you were listening to this, you could feel it. So card number one, live your joy. The prayer is thank you angels for supporting me as I follow my joy. So here we go. Your guardian angel is encouraging you at this time to follow your heart. Do what makes your heart sing. Let us all commit to doing more of the things that make our hearts sing because we will be able to anchor more joy into the world, bring in more light into the world. And it says, do what makes you smile. Do what makes you dance and rejoice. Living your joy is so important. It is truly your only purpose here. If you're wondering what you're supposed to do with your life, this message is showing you that you are to choose the pathway that is filled with joy and happiness. That's all. It is the key to inner peace. And if you find yourself sad and drained at this time, take some time to do what, what makes you feel alive. Whether it be a hobby or simply spending time with a loved one, you are being encouraged to do it now. Anything that makes you feel blessed, filled with energy and alive is your joy. And today is the day to live your joy. When you do this, you will draw positive and loving experiences into your life 
that will wash away the darkness. I love this part. I'm going to read it again. Anything that makes you feel blessed, filled with energy, and alive is your joy. And today is the day to live your joy. When you do this, you will draw positive and loving experiences into your life that will wash away the darkness. Thank you, angels, for supporting me as I follow my joy. And so it is. Card number one. If you receive two, you're being asked to trust your vibes. Trust your vibes. And here's the prayer, the angel prayer with this card. This card is beautiful, by the way. Actually, all the cards are beautiful. So it says, thank you, angels. Today, I choose to trust my intuition and my guidance. Thank you, angels. Today, I choose to trust my intuition and your guidance. I'm going to repeat this again. Thank you, angels. Today, I choose to trust my intuition and your guidance. Here's the messages. The angels are here to inform you that whatever you have been feeling recently is absolutely correct. Your intuition is on point and the angels are here to congratulate you on trusting your vibes. Feeling is one thing, but trusting is another. When you wholeheartedly trust in your intuition and the feelings you have been given, you come into alignment with who you are and the angelic guidance which surrounds you. Today is the day you must trust what your intuition is telling you but also trust your guidance on what you should do with this intuition. Ensure it is for everyone's highest good, and that includes yourself. Your psychic and intuitive abilities are developing more and more each day. The angels are here to encourage you to go with whatever you feel your soul has been trying to tell you. Rich, intuitive, and psychic knowledge is downloaded into your core, and the angels are encouraging you to follow this guidance. As you take this step, it may bring up some fears or concerns, but you are encouraged to trust in the angels who are on this journey with you. When you take the first step, the next step will be presented to you. Trust your vibes. Place your hand on your heart. Let's do the prayer together. Thank you, angels. Today, I choose to trust my intuition and your guidance. So be it. And so it is. I love this last card. I'm very familiar with it. I tend to pull it a lot, but then also I love Archangel Mikael. So if you received three Here's your message. You are protected. Archangel Mikael says, you are protected. Here's the prayer that comes with this card. Place your hand on your heart and receive. Thank you, Archangel Mikael, for surrounding me with your protective light. Do you feel it? Yes. Thank you, Archangel Mikael, for surrounding me and my loved ones and my home with your protective light. Here's the message. Archangel Mikael is pouring his electric blue light of protection over your whole being at this time and encouraging you to know that you are completely safe. Whether you have been worried about physical, emotional, or spiritual harm or not, when you receive this card, you are to know that there is a divine protection watching over you at this time. Mikael may be guiding you to release any feelings or situations you know aren't serving you anymore. It's time to make peace within and without. King of the angels, Archangel Mikael is here to keep you safe and his legion of angels is surrounding you at this time. If you feel fearful about anything, you create a space in which you can be attacked. If you trust that you are safe and protected, you create a shield of light around you. When this shield is up, only love and experiences can enter. Imagine the light of Archangel Mikael surrounding you and feel safe in his heavenly light. 
So a little bit about Archangel Mikael, if you're not familiar with this amazing Archangel. I've been walking with him like since I was a child. I love him. Mikael's name means he who is like God. And he is the prince of light, the ruler of the archangelic realm. He ensures that all the other archangels are performing their spiritual duties. He is the angel who protects all light workers, those souls who feel called to heal, to help heal the world. He is a multidimensional being, and like all archangels, he can be in all places at once. He helps us sur surrender the negative feelings within so we can align once more with our spiritual truth which is love. Taking a deep breath in and out. Place your hand on your heart. Let's do the prayer. Thank you, Archangel Mikael, for surrounding myself, my loved ones, and the world with your protective light. Thank you, Archangel Mikael, for surrounding me with your protective light. So be it, and so it is. Hmm. Beautiful, beautiful cards. Perfect, right? For, to help us um, to do what we came here to do, to live our purpose so we can anchor more light into the world. So whether you're feeling fear, you know, if you're feeling fear with everything that's going on, call on Archangel Mikael to help you to release the fear and to surround you with his electric blue light. You know what I always, I love that he does when I call him in, he wraps his archangelic wings around me. And I love that, it's like an angelic hug. So you can also ask him to do that for you as well and you will feel it. Archangels are powerful. They are so, so powerful. So if you're feeling down, if you're feeling sad, the sadness from the world, if you're feeling the heaviness and the darkness from the world, go ahead and call Archangel Mikael in and ask him to help you to transmute and transform the darkness within and also in the world and bring you peace. And ask him to surround you in his light and hold you in his angelic wings. Beautiful. All right, my loves. I am blessing you abundantly and exceedingly this week. I ask that you step into more of what that light work that it is that you're here to do, whether you're here to carry the frequency of joy, the frequency of love, whether you're a light warrior, you're being called forth at this time more than ever. And you're gonna, that call is going to continue to grow as we move on, move forward um, in the world. So whatever it is that lights you up, whatever it is that makes your heart sing, do more of that. Because what you're doing is you're anchoring more light into the world by being true to you, to your divinity, to your divine self. If, you've, if you're an empath or an intuitive or someone who's really impacted by the heaviness in the world, and you would like to learn tools that allow you to feel more, um, to, to transmute and break through and be in more in your power and more in your light, then I invite you to come and join my Elevated Empath Membership. You know, today, before I did this recording, we met, we had our call um, today, and I'm walking them through a chakra recalibration, which means an upgrade in our energy centers. And today we were working on the, the um, sacral chakra. And so we were able to release the fears and any cords and attachments. It was so powerful. You know, these are energy, um, energy workers, healers, empaths, goddesses, who are learning about their own divinity and unlocking their higher self's technology that allows them to be more of who they are, regardless of what is going on in the world, you know, um, to feel safe in who they are by connecting to their divinity. So if this is you and you would love to feel that way, come join this amazing group of like-minded like women 
It is an intimate group, um, and we are celebrating the one-year anniversary of Elevated Empath this week. I mean, this this month, actually. Um, and so the price for the membership is $47 um, US dollars per month. It is a membership, so it's a monthly membership. After this month, it's going to go back to the original price, which is $97. So if this is you and you would like to be held and witness and heal and learn the tools that allow you to move away from being beaten down by the world to feeling empowered in your light, regardless of what is going on, then I invite you to come join us. I'll put the link below. And then lastly, if you already have the tools, you are mastering this life. And you are a channel. This is especially for women who are channels, who are able to tap into the divine and bring through channeled messages. I would, I, I want to invite you to come share your channeled message in my multi-author book Oracle, where I will help you tune into what wants to come through. You will bring through the channeled work and you will get published. <laughs> Your work will get published. You'll become a best-selling author, um, and you'll also be in a group of like-minded like women who do this work and support each other. Um, and yeah, so if this is you, I would love to have you there. It is a freaking amazing opportunity. There's three ways that, three um, levels that you can join. You can either join by just um, doing like 500 words, so you just channeled words a short, channeled message that you, you want to share, or you can do a whole chapter um, where you talk about your journey as a channel, um, how it awakened, and then you go into the channeled message. And then the last level is the VIP level where you get a whole chapter. You also get your name in front of the book. Um, you also get a 30-minute um, session with me where we really dial in on what wants to come through so that that channel experience can be clear, crystal clear. If this is you, find the link below, sign up for it. If you have any questions, let me know. From my heart to yours, until next time, bye. Yeah, yeah.